Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel Viva Wheels. Hope you all are having a great time. So today is Sunday and it's like as it is weekend. So we have planned to go to a place. Uh, it's a Chapultepec. So let's go there and check uh, what are the things we can go with. And it's spring season here. So I thought of wearing something like a floral dress. <laughs> so let's see, stay tuned, watch the video till end. Here I am in the metro station, waiting for the metro. So far in my observation, in this route there is only two colorful metro trains. So I am happy to catch one of them. <laughs> Half of the route we covered by metro and then the remaining half we covered with the bus. So we reached Chapultepec and we got down in Gandhi bus stand so that we could directly go to the pastel. I like this hibiscus flower because it was like upside down and very little amount of leaves and the flowers were looking so beautiful. That is why. So yes, we are here in Chapultepec to visit the Chapultepec castle. So let me tell you something about Chapultepec. So Chapultepec, or you can say it is Chapultepec Forest, is an urban park located in the Miguel Hidalgo Mayor's Office in Mexico City. It is the largest of its kind in the Western Hemisphere with an area of 810 hectares. So whenever I go to Chapel Pepec, it's like a treasure to me because I find so many kinds of toys and the traditional foods of Mexico and uh, many more creative things to do there. The Chapel Pepec Park is that big that you cannot cover it in just a time. You should plan for many times just to visit Chapel Pepec Park and just visit every corner of Chapel Pepec Park. There you see the castle's entrance. Here's the little one drinking coke by himself and it was very cute for me. That's why I just shot that. So when you enter the castle, it's like 500 to 600 meters of walk to just enter the, get the main entrance of the castle. So, talking about Chapultepec Castle, in Spanish you can say it is Castillo de Chapultepec and with the name itself you would have got some ideas what is Chapultepec Castle. So, it is located on top of Chapultepec Hill in Mexico City's Chapultepec Park. The castle has such unparalleled views and terraces that explorer James F. Elton wrote, it cannot be surpassed in beauty in any part of the world. Exactly, the beauty of this castle is just speechless. So here we have entered the castle and you can see the beauty, the paintings and all. Just, it's just awesome. And then we entered to a room. It was just covered with full of only paintings. I guess it is from the war field. Uh, where many people they just uh, fought uh, and the things that happened there has been depicted here through the paintings you just the paintings is that beautiful that clear that uh, you can just understand everything through that painting so just have a look at it So then I went upstairs and found these beautiful stuffs here. So as you are 
learning so many historical things here. Uh, you may be eager to know something history about Chapultepec Castle. So let's go through it. Going through a few blogs, I came to know something and that's what I'm sharing with you. The Chapultepec Castle in Mexico City has played a role in takeover plots, accusations of foul play and executions over the centuries. Construction on the building began in 1785 on the orders of Viceroy Bernardo de Galvez before being taken over by Manuel Agustin Mascaro following the departure of the original architect Francisco Bambitei. This part, the rumor that Mascaro wanted to rebel against the Spanish crown and when Galvez died unexpectedly, foul play was floated as an unsubstantiated theory. Eventually, after its completion and numerous attempts on the part of the Spanish crown to sell the castle at a cut price, Mexico City's municipal government purchased it in 1806. Despite being abandoned during the War of Independence, the castle rose to notoriety once again when it became the site of the deaths of six young men, immortalized as the Ninos Erones, that is, hero children, who died defending it in 1847 during the Mexican-American War. It still reigns as the only castle in North America that actually served as a residence for royalty. Mexican Emperor Maximilian I and Empress Carlota lived there from 1864 until he was executed three years later. During their period of residence, the castle was known as Castillo de Miravai. It also underwent refurbishment in a new classical style, which supposedly made the palace more habitable, thanks to royalty living there on what way Still the outskirts of Mexico City at the time, the city developed of a nearby thoroughfare which we now know as the bustling Paseo de la Reforma. Here you can see the chariots, how beautiful it is, the art that has been engraved here, it's just awesome. part of mine from the castle because the ancient things were just organized so well the chairs the table the design of that it was so attractive and whenever i go there i just stand and just uh, notice everything so curiously and i just love every single piece of it <music> the top view from the Chapultepec castle and uh, it's like you can see the whole city by just standing on the top of the Chapultepec castle and it's just amazing. So then we got exit from the castle and it is the place just in front of the castle and you can see how beautiful it is. Here you can see a small fountain and in between there is a grasshopper and the Chapultepec name came from grasshopper and in Spanish it is called Chapulines. 
and then we just came near the lake and ate something then spent some time and then we just headed towards home so that's it for today hope this video was a little informative if you like the video please give a thumbs up thank you so much for watching and please 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 subscribe to my channel to see many more interesting videos see you until next time take care bye